In this part of our simple learner game, we'll be working on the camera. So the camera is following uh, the player and it uh, will look like this. When I will move to the right, camera will go to the right and then we'll move to the left. The camera will follow the player all the time. Okay, so let's get into the code. The first thing, the simplest one, what we could do is simply parent out our camera to the player. So I would simply click on the main camera and I will drag and drop it to the player. So the main camera will be the child of the of the player. So when you have the child game object, the child get game object is moving uh, together with the player. And this will introduce one uh, small issue, however. It will be following the player, but you will see when you will play the game, what's happening the child game object is also rotating with the parent game object. And since we are rotating our, our player around the x-axis, also our camera is getting rotated around the x-axis. We are following the player, as you see, when I will move left and right, we are following the player, but we are also rotating the camera, which is not very good. Okay, so let's stop it, or we'll get a headache here. And what we'll do instead, first we will Revert this, so press Ctrl or Command Y or Z, depending on your keyboard, uh, to go one step back, so your camera is back as it was. Play the game so you see it as before. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll create a script. Go to your code, create here a new script and call it Camera uh, Controller. Controller CS. Create here class, public class camera controller, controller. Like this, let's introduce here mono behavior. So that they're using Unity Engine and mono behavior. So let's extend here mono behavior. And we'll create here, for example, right here four spaces indentation. Maybe I have should set it up at the beginning. So it doesn't really matter. Okay, and we'll create here a new serialized field, serialized field, and it will be the object we want to follow. That will be our player. So let's write here private, transform, and uh, follow follow target. This will be our player. And then we'll create here a new private uh, variable, vector3. And this will be the offset between the player and the camera. You will see why we need it. I will explain very shortly. Offset, like this. Okay. In the start, so right here, void start, we'll first uh, calculate the offset. And offset will be calculated like this. We'll get our target, so m follow target minus our transform position, so that's the camera position. Actually, it should be a follow target transform position minus transform position. Okay, first we calculate the offset between the camera and the player, and then we'll create here void late update. This is called on every frame, and uh, we'll apply the offset. So we'll get here our original position, so transform position, and we'll change it to our target position, follow target position minus offset. And now the camera should follow the player. Let's see it first in the editor and then let's explain it. Back to Unity, let's run the game and uh, <laughs> nothing will work <laughs> because we need to attach the first the controller to our camera. So go to your main camera, uh, make sure it's selected and go to add component and choose here camera controller. Okay, and as a follow target you, here, you have a none, so just drag and drop your player. Go to your uh, hierarchy on the left, drag and drop player, drag player and drop it in the follow target. Now let's play the game. And now the camera should follow nicely the player as it moves from the left to the right. Perfect, amazing. Okay, so how it works. Let's explain it on the simple example. I'll just make you some space for drawing. Let's, let's imagine just one this space, just one line. And let's say your player is here at the position three. All right. That's Z, Z direction, let's say. And your camera is here. C for a camera at the position one. So currently how we are calculating the offset. Let's see here. Offset is currently calculated as a target. So player position minus camera position. You can see it here. Player position, follow target position minus camera position. So offset is uh, player minus camera. So offset is player, which is three minus camera is one. So offset is two. Now, let's imagine the player will move to the position, to the position, so new player position uh, will be four. So camera also needs to move somewhere, let's say uh, somewhere here. Okay, we don't know position, we can we can call it an NP for the next, uh, or NC rather, for a, for a new camera position. So how we are co 
computing the new camera position. New camera position is calculated calculate as a new player position, so NP minus offset. So new camera position is equal uh, new player position, which is 4, minus offset, which is calculated here, 2. So new camera position is equal to 2. So you can see that here will be not a question mark anymore, but the camera will be uh, will be 2. So as you can see, we are maintaining the same offset. So the same the offset is same here. So we will always keep the same distance between the camera and the player. That's basically it. that's how it works. That's the few equations you need to know to follow the target. Get the offset and then update the position with this offset. Okay, and it works. Very simple, uh, very simple thing to do. The camera is following the player. And that's the end of the video. In the next one, we will handle jumping.